I found an old clip, I don't know what year it is, where Devin does, Devin does games, you know, the guy with the multiple names, and he sings a song I don't know of, but I want to sing it with him, so, bear with me, I'm going to set you up over here, don't know if you can see my face, don't care, don't, you know, that's not the point of the video, the point is to hear me and him sing, and I'll have to read whatever words I can see. You were in college walking, working part time, waiting. Uh, the, 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 start over, start over, start over, start over. Small town never looked back. I was a fight risk with a feel of falling. Wondering why we bother with love if it never lasts. I say, can you believe it? As we're lying on the couch, the moment I could see it, yes, yes, I can see it now. Do you remember we were sitting there, the water, you put your arms around me for the first time, you made a rapid move, girl, this man, skipper, daughter, you were the best that's ever been mine. Flash forward and you're taking all the word together And there's a drawer, my things of you at your place Sorry It's hard to pay attention but I hope you like that Of me and him singing together If you want to see just him singing this I will have a video up of this I will keep it, there's more of him singing And I will have all that on my YouTube channel and I'll try someday when I upload it, put the annotation of this one to it or vice versa. That way you can see this and all that. Anyways, I hope you get what I'm saying. I'll talk to you guys later. Later haters. Who remembers that show called Tars and Tears? Toddlers and Tears. How do you say that? Um, they're doing, they did seven seasons, and that's where Honey Boo Boo, Alana Thompson, and Mama June came from, and they got their own TLC show from it, now they have their own Mama June's Hot to Not. Well, apparently there was rumors going around that, um, Alana Thompson, Honey Boo Boo, is not going to be a part of the show because... One, she's too busy filming for Hot to Not, or she wasn't asked. She don't need that fucking... Okay, what I'm talking about is on Discovery Plus is where you can only watch it now. It's called Where Are They Now, Tars and Tierras. And they are doing the girls that were little on that show, what they're up to now. We don't need Honey Boo Boo on that show on where she at now. If you're a fan of hers and you know who she fucking is, then you know what she's up to now. You've seen her mama show called Mama June Hot Tonight. You've seen that show. So you don't need her on Toddlers and Tears. The only reason why you would need her on there is for ratings. Mm-hmm. I said it. If, if the show had ratings that were so low and you wanted that show to do great, so you would put Mama June and uh, Honey Boo Boo on there just to get the ratings to go sky high. Them not having the, them on the show tells us that, you know, without them, the ratings will go sky high. Well... I'm going to say your ratings are going to be mediocre because you're not putting it on TV. You're putting it on a website. And not everyone's going to get Discovery Plus just for a TLC. Where are they not? Especially when they can get it free off of a free website. But uh, I, I, I watched that show, kind of, sort of. And I remember Honey Boo Boo on there with the go-go juice. I think that's where JoJo Siwa got the JoJo juice. But anyways, I watched that, 
when there was nothing else on and I got bored, I watched that. And so I wouldn't mind watching Where Are They Now. Just curious if those bratty kids are still bratty kids or they grew up not bratty. I want to see that. But, you know, I'm not going to be like upset because I don't get to see it because it's not one of my favorite shows. But I just think it's... Tamara was like... Joe, uh, honey boo boo is not on the show, and people are freaking out. Why isn't she part of the show? She was on there because we don't need an update from honey boo boo. We can just go to her Instagram, know the update. We can just watch Mama June's Hot Tonight and know what the fuck's going on with her life. Like, we don't need her on where are they now, Tarlers and Tear, because we know where she's at. We don't know where the other ones are at, so that's why we're what. And she even said there was tons of spinoff shows from these toddlers. No, there wasn't. There was only one, and that was with Honey Boo Boo. And the only reason why TLC canceled them is because June got with a guy from prison or whatever who abused Alana or whatever and then next thing we know she's on another channel called Honey, uh, Mama June's Hot or Not trying to get thin and now she's dealing with drugs and 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 everything like that and they're putting it on the show and they're not canceling her of course, then again, TLC is all about PG crap, and they don't show the rated R crap like other channels do. For, and if they, and TLC, that's why your shows are not good in ratings, because you do that crap. If you do the right thing, and like I said, if you do the right thing, TLC, and show the raters, your ratings would go sky high and more and more and more. But, who knows. Now there, there's rumors going around that Zach and Jeremy from Little People's Big World are in a big fight. And they're not getting along. This is why you don't believe everything that you read on the internet. Especially when it's posted on Facebook. Because Facebook is full of lies. And I don't believe that for one second. And then... People are like, oh, I think Jessa, Jessa from Counting On, 19 Kids and Counting, the Duggars, Jessa is pregnant. You can tell because she's hiding a baby bump. <clears throat> Wrong! She's not because if she was pregnant, she wouldn't be hiding it. She'd be proud to be pregnant. And she'd be telling the world, she'd be telling us on her YouTube channel, she would be telling her parents. And then people are like, well, I think Joy's pregnant too. And she's hiding it. No, she's not. If she's pregnant, she wouldn't hide it. She would be proud. She would tell her family and then tell the world. Like right when they find out they're pregnant, they tell their whole family. And then a month later, they tell us. So it's not a secret. So I don't know what you guys are worried about. And why you guys assume that kind of shit. Douglas don't hide pregnancies. They're ba baby making machines. Just like Hanson's baby making machines. Because Zach just had his fifth. I think it's fifth. Or is it fourth? Child. After Taylor in December just had his sixth child. I don't even know how many Ike has. He either has three or four. I'm not very sure on that. And I'm just, and people are now um, voting on his life and saying, do you think Zach's going to have two more kids? Just because Taylor has six does not mean that's how many Zach wants. But my question is, since they're on tour all the time and they're with their fans all the time, how the fuck do they have time to make babies? I mean, in quarantine, I understand how, but before quarantine, how? Some people just easily can make a baby like that, I guess. 
So not only are the babes and the duggers baby making machines, but Hanson's baby making machines too. And if you like a big family like that, then I guess be a baby making machine. <laughs> Uh, and some people think that's rude to say that they're baby making machines. Well, it's true, they are. Because they want tons of kids. And if you want tons of kids, you're a baby making machine. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to get going. So, I've got all these SD cards, aka memory cards, for the cameras and stuff. This one's a little tiny one. This one I got from a thrift store. And, by the way, if you're going to give your camera, which is the dumbest thing you could ever do, to a thrift store for free, when I mean, you could probably sell that camera and, and make lots of money by doing that. Um, but, anyways, like I was saying, if you're going to give your camera to Goodwill and you're gonna leave them one SD card memory card to use please make sure your camera is empty please make sure your videos and your and you don't leave videos and photos on the card because if it wasn't somebody like me come across that SD card then it could go, it could get into the wrong hands to someone that could really take those photos and post them all over the internet. They could use those photos, they could take those photos and and catfish somebody with them and say that, that that's them, when really it's not. They could sell those photos for money, like you you don't know what they would do with those videos or those photos. Some people might go, I'm going to find the owner. Maybe she doesn't know that she left some footage or photos on this SD card, this memory card. So I'm going to go and try to find the owner. And then they get on TV for it and, and it becomes this big deal. My opinion is, is they left them on there on purpose because they want to be all over television and be and have 15 minutes of fame. Second of all, if I saw that and I saw someone's photos on there, I'm not going to be like, oh, let's go find the owner. No, I'm going to be like, no, they had their chance. They're the dumb ones that decided to get rid of their camera and not check the SD card first before they gave it away to a Goodwill store or Savers or a thrift store of some kind and they're dumb enough to leave an SD card in there with photos and videos so I'm not going to try to find them they snooze they lose I'm just going to delete them <laughs> but Anyways, I'm just trying to keep you guys safe in this world by telling you things like this and saying you should not be doing this. So don't give away your SD card or your memory cards with photos and videos on them. Don't leave them in cameras that you're giving away. And plus, if you're giving away your camera to a Goodwill store, or to a thrift store or savers or whatever then you're dumb in the head because you can easily put that in a garage sale and make lots of money you can easily put it on eBay or Amazon and make lots of money you could sell it to, to a pawn shop and get lots of money for it so for you to just throw it there it's, the only reason why you would throw a camera and that's my opinion from experience that if you throw a camera at a thrift store, it's because the camera's broken and doesn't work. And you are too scared to toss it in the trash. Or you think, oh, they could use my camera for parts. They, someone else could buy my camera. And maybe they could fix it. 
Well, they could buy my camera and take it apart and sell the parts for parts. Since it don't work. But yet you have... But the homeowner or the people that work there, they should test all products before selling them. And if they don't test them, just say, hey, I don't know if this works, didn't test it. We don't have the equipment to test this. Oh, then find a way to test it before you sell it in your store. Because then someone like me will buy it thinking it works. And then it not work. And then when I tried to bring it back, you won't take it back. You take, I got two cameras. You took one back and said, install credit. And it has to be today. You have to buy something today to make it an in-store credit. And I'm like, why? That's stupid. And I know straight up, they're just going to take that camera, put it right back in the store, and sell it as is, and not let people know that didn't work. And I had to buy a stupid chair that we turned into a footstool because there was nothing we wanted. For, and it had to be up to 20 bucks. Because that's how much I paid for the cam. Oh, it was so annoying. Then I went to... So now what I do is when I see a camera and it's not in the... And what the weird part is, what didn't make sense is they had one camera out on display for you to touch, do whatever with, and one camera in a locked gla th through glass door didn't make any sense when they were both the same price and if I and for now on what I do is cause us memory cards are so expensive and they're not gonna give two fucks is when I see a camera I check for SD card I see an SD card I'll put it in this camera here that I'm using now see if there's anything on it or see if it works or whatever's and then I will take that card, slip it in my pocket, and take it home, and not pay for it. I know that's stealing, but it's an SD card. They're freaking expensive at Best Buy and stuff. And plus, most of these SD cards that are at these Savers, Goodwill, and thrift stores are like one gigabyte, four gigabyte. You can't put much on a one and a four gigabyte. So before y'all comment going, that's stealing, how could you do that? If they didn't want you to do that, they would have put that camera, you know, in between a glass door. So, anyways, just don't buy used cameras unless you test, if you, unless you ask them, can I test it out here now? But, uh, anyways, I'm going to get going. I will talk to you guys later. Remember, wear a mask, save a life, and later haters. Oh yeah, and one more thing. Colette from the Shea Tards has COVID. And she got it from her grandfather who didn't know he had it until after she left. And then all the friends, or all the kids, had to be quarantined for two weeks just to be on the safe side in case they have it or get it and they have to wear masks and be six feet apart from their mother and what sucks is Shay didn't make a YouTube video letting us know because fans would want to know in case something bad happens to her like we had the right we have the right to know it took Avia their daughter to make a YouTube video and tell us like really something that major happens in your life and you don't tell your fans and then when your fans do find out they get pissy with you for not telling them and it took your daughter to do it like that makes no sense but anyways later haters